The elephant nose fish generates an electric field with its electric organ and then processes the returns from its electroreceptors to locate nearby objects. Elephant nose fish uses a weak electric field, which it generates with specialized cells called electrocytes, to find food, to navigate in dark or turbid waters, and to find a mate. Echidnas, also called spiny anteaters that eat and breathe through a bald tubular snout protruding from a dome-shaped body covered in spines. Echidnas have 400 to 2000 electroreceptors on their snouts. Electroreceptors in the snout sense electrical signals produced by the muscles of invertebrate prey. Platypus, also called duckbill, a small amphibious Australian mammal. The platypus has 40,000 electroreceptors on its bill. The platypus can determine the direction of an electric source, by comparing differences in signal strength across the sheet of electroreceptors and locate their prey. Electroreception also used by Guiana dolphins and sharks. The electroreceptors in a Guiana dolphin snout allows to detect the presence of possible food. Sharks have specialized electroreceptors on their snouts called ampullae of Lorenzini which help the shark detect electric fields given off by prey. The stargazers comprise about 50 species found worldwide in warm and temperate seas. They have electrical organs located behind their eyes. It emits electric bolt of 50 volts to zap their enemies. They use it for defense, not hunting. Its electric bolt made just enough to startle a predator into turning the fish loose. The electric ray is a flattened cartilaginous fish with enlarged pectoral fins. The electric currents produced by electric rays are generated in cells called electrocytes. They are known for being capable of producing an electric discharge, ranging from 8 to 220 volts. Electric eels generate electric pulses in multiple ways. Low voltages are used to sense the surrounding environment. High voltages are used to detect prey and stun them. Pairs of high voltage pulses separated by 2 milliseconds are used to detect and locate prey. A string of high voltage of 400 pulses per second are used to attack and paralyze the target. The Oriental Hornet can definitely transform solar radiation into electricity, as shining light on the cuticle generates a small voltage. The electricity might give the Oriental Hornet's wing muscles an extra jolt of energy. Also it might help keep the Hornets at a comfortable temperature. They can stay active when air temperatures are as high as 40 degrees Celsius, and they may do so by converting some of the heat energy into electricity which they store and convert back to heat when conditions becomes cold. In general, lizard species are capable of walking or hanging on walls due to van der Waals or capillary forces. But geckos are different. Geckos are capable of walking on walls and hanging from ceilings with the help of nanoscale hierarchical fibrils called CD on their toe pads. CD exchange significant numbers of electric charges with the contacted surface via the contact electrification phenomenon. The difference in charge between its feet and the surface it is climbing help the gecko stay anchored to the wall.